Bam. Oh. Apparently, they don't like that uh, skin. It's okay. We'll take them off. And we'll try it with just cobblestone skin. Ah, oh, it's still got this blue filter on top of it. I wonder, I want to check for a second, if that is anything to do with the fact that I'm using the Chrome Hills pack. Because it may not be compatible. Nope. Does it have to do with the fact that there's water next to it? Yes. Okay. At least we figured that out. It's not Chrome Hills' fault. So let's put Chrome Hills back, because Chrome Hills is beautiful. Oh, okay. So not quite what I had hoped for there. Light this place up some. Okay. Now, I wonder if... Hmm. I'm wondering if the water level has anything to do with it. You know? Like, what happens if we put them one back? Probably the same thing, but... Let's try it out, right? Nope, it's still picking up the water texture. Okay. Well, fine. There goes that idea. I thought I would be sweet. Can we do it like on top? Is it still too close to the water there? Yeah, we can do that. That's kind of all right. Is it perfect? exactly what we wanted now this is still pretty sweet yeah so we'll take it boom there we are we should also be able to do it like here There we go. That looks really good. I like that. And you know what? We've got two left. We need a total of five. We have two of these and we need three. So we need some sticks. Bam, bam, bam. And like that, that, um, down, do that, six more of these, okay, let's hook this up here. Should have known better than that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Right in our face. There we go. There we go. There we are. Jacuzzi living. And since we have three left over. We'll throw them here on the sides. Oh, that's not right. There we go. 
Did I do a stone block underneath it? I didn't, but I think I'm gonna. Gotta make it look just right, you know? Doesn't look right sitting on dirt like that. Boom. That is pretty flippin' sweet. It just means I need to dig some of this out, but that's okay. We get the start of something pretty cool here. Now, the question is, how are we going to build around this so that it's part of the house without letting monsters in? At the same time, I think I might be able to do some of the like carpenter's fencing. Put that up around it. That way the fences will act as 1.5 high blocks. And I could still have some open area. So... It's a shame we couldn't get angle blocks to fit there, but it's not too bad. We'll figure it out. And then we have to plan for some kind of a hut. Who knows, maybe we'll just have a door that comes out to our jacuzzi. But that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem quite right. I wanna, want this to be indoors. So, maybe we will... Uh, build it up off of this because that's kind of what we were looking at anyway how high is that so other question is do I want this to be ground level or do I want this to be ground level I would have to dig up a lot of this to make this ground level or cover it in maybe wood planks so I would want a foundation Hmm. If I leave this ground level, then I can place wood flooring here and... Her. Yeah, I don't know. I think it'll be alright. I think this is good ground level. So that means I like having three blocks of headspace. And then our ceiling will start uh, here. There we go. Carry it out one on each side just to see how that looks. And give us some space to build off of. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to put a piece of fencing in there. Maybe upside down in there to keep stuff from getting in. Since I don't have the iron for iron bars. But hey, it's alright. Wall this off. There. Okay. So there we are. We have the start of our little tunnel. I kind of wish that this were longer. I don't know. Now that I think about it. It seems kind of pointless to have built a secondary wall there. This whole segment, I may push it up half a dozen blocks or so about six and we have to end up filling in some lake and then that way I don't have to chew down this mountain either yep that's gonna happen so in fact let's figure out where we want this guy to start um honestly I think like two out from there that way there's this nice trail kind of in okay so We'll recreate this here, to there, this whole bit, and that allows me to build it all in stone, set it all up, and then we'll have it come off, like so. Oop. I'm actually probably going to put that block anyway, but that's okay. And just to make life easier on ourselves, let's, uh, oops, that's not it, do this. Blam. There, now we don't have to fight water. 
Okay. And we can also stone all this in. Because, I mean, come on. I'm okay hiding some of that stuff around dirt, but there. Yeah, that just looks awesome. Alright, I'm going to want dirt block there so I can get in here. Actually, I want two. There we go. That should be about right. Am I going to be okay? I think that's going to look a lot better. So, one more to build up. And then over. I'm, I'm off with my other block over there. I built this one out three. I was not paying attention. Okay. So that's the gateway into this part. I think that'll be alright. And we'll just go out that way. Fill some of this in. So I'm going to work on the, uh, the gate here. And then I might lay a couple of different foundations for the house. Oof, and eat. Look at that. We're starving over here. Alright. We'll build the foundation out of the house and uh, come back then and see how see how much of a base we have at that point. All right, so as we come up on the other side of our boulder here, we have a box and an aqueduct. Pretty snazzy aqueduct here. A very unfinished box, as you can see. Actually ran out of stone, so uh, we do have the white tiled cobblestone floors. Um, we have our soon to be fountain. I uh, didn't think about the fact that water only travels something like 15 blocks, and I want to make that better anyway. We're gonna need some iron. We need a bucket, so we are cutting into the garden here a little bit. So I've been working on uh, harvesting what I can and chopping up some of the rest. As, it, as things become mature, um, whoops, or as they not become mature, as sometimes the case may be, um, like that. <laughs> so, we, uh, <clears throat> let's see what else we got here. Um, it's a temporary place for right now, because this is just going to be like my temple room later on. But it is an all-purpose kind of dwelling at the moment. Cobblestone foundation around the sides with the cobblestone bricks, thanks to Chisel. Uh, I, I really like that mod. Did finally, it did come to find out it wasn't actually installed to begin with. Um, but it is installed now, so. Might have a duplication block issue with ice, so ice may not actually generate in the world. But I don't really care enough about ice blocks to... Uh, really mess with fixing it, and in fact, kind of prefer them not to spawn, so I'm fine with that. We need chickens. Chickens is going to be a really important part of us making any progress, because chickens give us access to arrows, lots of arrows, and we're going to need that if we want to survive in the pits. Um, and I don't really know of any other better ways to get feathers. Of course, I forgot to bring stairs and wood, so... Ooh, actually, I think I might still have... Yeah, I still have a crafting table here. So we can make some stairs once we get some stone. Um, and more importantly, we're going to be on the quest for iron yet again. Um, we went quite a ways out in hopes of finding some. And didn't make a lot of progress. We found lava. Lots of lava. 
we're looking for diamonds and iron. We want, I want a bucket, I want some of the uh, ovens and other things that are available in some of the other mods. Most of them, you know, your tier 1 stuff, woo! Tier 1 stuff is iron and deep iron, that's awesome. Deep iron is super sweet to use in a pickaxe. Um, it's basically an iron pickaxe that mines super fast, so I like that stuff. Alright. More deep iron there. More regular iron. Wonderful. Hopefully there's no lava. One of our first items is going to be a bucket. Oh, man. Because I want to be able to deal with this lava. So... At least we've got enough iron for a bucket now. If we're lucky, we'll get enough for some armor. Because... Unnecessary deaths by adventuring out of the caverns when we don't really need to is a terrible idea. So, and better tools, of course. Oh, whoa. I will probably use uh, the deep iron. Something is dying. Something is big and dying. And taking a lot of damage doing it. I can't tell where that's coming from. Again, it's it's probably a lava monster. It really probably is. It's I think that's what they sound like when they die. Yeah. You can I saw just a flash of him over there. We're gonna hop down there just to Take a peek. Hopefully don't get anything thrown at us. Whoa. That is some serious on fire stuff over there. I'm curious. I know I've got just a little bit of iron here. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that stuff is, but I'm hopping in here. I'm grabbing it. And we're running away before more of this can spawn and kill us. So, we're going back, like, now. Because there is way too much lava. And I'm not a fan of that. I'm scared to even walk around. So, we're going to get some iron tools. I want some of that redstone, too. Oh, man. Um, we definitely have enough stone to make some steps. Okay, so, take two of make a furnace. Alright. And smelt some iron. Okay. Whew. While we're waiting on that, let's get some steps. 